That should get him off my tail. Wait, you? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. So what was I even doing all this for? Van, what are you doing here? And who would this woman be?
Finish your job already? It's no biggie. I'm just glad everything got taken care of. Besides, I've got no interest in being a third wheel. Don't feel bad, Elaine. I can be a little sensitive about my age, too, sometimes. Anyway, I'll go report to the guild for you. Have some fun, you two, okay? Knowing you, I imagine you've already eaten dinner. I had enough to hold me over. But I could go for a drink. Want to come with me? Dingo! Why won't you just listen to me? I... I need you with me at the Tyrell. Like I said, I'll leave the honest journalism to you. Sorry for the trouble, Bramati. Oh, please. This is nothing. Don't you worry about a thing. Still, if you ask me, I think you're more than ready to leave the back alleys yourself. It's been eight years, you know. It's not a matter of how much time's passed. Besides, I feel like my current path suits me better at this point. You should be saying that to Van. Oh my! Is that him? Cheating on me with Shino? I can't say I'm not jealous, but she's been refining her craft a lot lately. Oh my, oh my, 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 my! <laughs> Looks like our boy might finally be starting to move on. Mmm. I wanna chase scoops together. Here are the Gimlet and Grasshopper that you ordered. Thanks. They've both got just the right amount of foam. Your shaking technique has really improved, Shino. I'm impressed. Thank you for saying so. But I'm still not a patch on Bermati. Well, please enjoy your drinks. Ah, oh, this is lovely. Still, I see you like even your cocktails, sweet. Well, not all the time. Come to think of it, I've shot back a few with Renee, but I guess this is my first time doing it with you, huh? We were too young, remember? Although I suppose that didn't stop you at the school festival after party. I got no idea what you're talking about. I swear, you two are why they say boys will be boys. <laughs> <laughs>
Van. Are you... Are you really going to go on that trip? <laughs> it's nothing. I, I hope you have a good time. Don't forget, you're a leader now. Don't get too carried away out there, okay? We'll be right here when you get back. Be careful now. Take good care of her for us. We're counting on you. Thank you for looking after her. If she starts being selfish or making a fuss, don't be afraid to give her a talking to. We want you to have lots of fun, but we also need you to be a good girl, okay? And don't forget to brush your teeth and use the bathroom before you go to bed. I won't. So, what did you want to talk about? Well... This conversation might take a while, so I think I'll go make us some coffee first. Hello. Sorry for calling you so early in the morning. Oh, I didn't expect everyone to be with you. Wait, are you on the road?
We're here! So this is Long Lai. Wow! I've never seen anything like this.
Hey! You're mine! I've got you! Hello, Mr. Arkride. Do you have a moment? So they're the people he mentioned. My sisters brought them up too, but I'm not sure they're worth trusting. Hmm... I guess I'll sit back and see what they're about for now. And if they come up short, well, out the door they go.
So cold. I'm gonna freeze to death. No, no. Snap out of it, Judith. You aren't allowed to die out here. I will not take Mama and Granny's sighs of disappointment any longer. Clear your mind. Endure the freezing water. Pick the wrong day to mess with me! Well, what's it doing here? Uh, hey, wait a second! I should be asking you that question! Why are you people here? Oh, yes. And the only thing on my agenda for today is kicking your ass, you stupid primate! Your act of utter foolishness will be met with divine retribution. So get ready, because it's curtains for you! <sighs> Serves you right, thou beast! Wait, you trained here too? Oh, go figure. That has to be a coincidence, though there's no way it could be a twist of fate. That's not important. What are you all doing here? Explain yourselves. Oh, that boy? Did I really worry him that much? Oh, crap. <laughs> I believe you have the wrong person. I am the Phantom Thief of Justice, Grimcat. I am the deliverer of divine punishment to the dregs of society. And I am most certainly not a celebrity actress who secretly slipped into long lie. Perish the thought. I did no such thing. Are you insinuating that I'm alive? Ah! Uh. Uh. A bonafide hottie? I told you, I'm the mysterious phantom thief. <laughs> Already stored the goods away. Phew. I was able to look away just in time. Van, however. He, he saw it all. <laughs> yeah, that was a freak accident. But I can't say it wasn't a happy one for me as well. You're free to slap me anytime. 
I'll throw in a discount on the request fee, too. <laughs> a special price. For me. Oh, how magnanimous of you, good sir. But I refuse. I'm not paying you a single mirror, you cheapskate! she fully visible from the front, though? In the Central East, it is strictly forbidden to look at a woman's bare skin unless you're her husband. Which means you might have to take it upon yourself to... Hmm? Yep, I think that's the best course of action. <laughs> Enough with the seduction act. <laughs> I can't let my act get rusty while I'm not on stage, you know? But damn, this water doesn't feel good. There's springs over in Longport, but this is next level. What, is the kid not coming in? Feels like a waste to come all this way and not use the outdoor spring. Yeah. 
I did invite him, but he said he was too tired and was just going to settle with a shower. Weird. It didn't seem like he was afraid of showing off that skinny-ass body or whatever. There's plenty of cultures out there that don't do public bathing. Could just be that. But you're right that it's a waste not to come in. I'll see if he wants me to reserve the place for him later. Like some overprotective parent. Well, that kiddo might not be here to give you some TLC, but I am. How about it? This do it for ya? Old farts like you love these kinds of poses, right? Oh, knock it off. Just because you were born with looks and talent doesn't make it okay to abuse them. <laughs> <laughs> Made you hard? I'm limp as a damn noodle! Hmm? What are they even talking about over there? <laughs> uh, who knows? I can't believe those two! Though I'm sure it was Aaron who was the one who started it. Your hair is so smooth, Reset. Can I wash it for you? I would be delighted if you did. <laughs> Yume really does have a way of becoming fast friends with anyone. I think of her as my little sister at this point. She reminds me of my younger siblings back home. I almost forgot you're an older sister. It doesn't feel quite right to me somehow. <laughs> Maybe for you, but for me, Kasim doesn't come home very often. So I actually feel way more like an older sister than a younger one. Uh, I see. You'll probably always be the latter to me, sorry. <laughs> You're definitely the older sister type, though. Your hair is so long, and your skin's smooth like porcelain. You're so curvy, too. <laughs> well... I like the way your hair is fluffy like kitten's fur. And your skin's so lustrous with such a beautiful tone. <laughs> it's silky to the touch. I love it. Y you really think so? I'm covered in scars, though. Maybe so. But you got those protecting people like us and loved ones back home, didn't you? I really don't want you to get hurt, of course. But I see those scars more as proof of the sacrifices you've made for others. And so they make me all the more proud of you. Aw, thank you. <laughs> By the way, this might be out of nowhere, but... What kind of person do you think Van's type is? Pardon? A long time ago, I remember asking Ida how people usually behave when staying over somewhere. And she said they usually talk about romance and stuff. Like who the people close to them might be in love with. Uh, <laughs> Ida really didn't beat around the bush, huh? Mm, I'm sure potential partners for him would need to be over a certain age. So, not us. He sees us more as children. <laughs> He's so nice though, isn't he? He makes it look like he's not paying that much attention to us, but it feels like he always is. Yes, I would have to agree. But for example, he isn't the same with us as he is with Reset and Judith. Elaine, too. It's always like he acts with a lot less restraint towards them. Now that you mention it... Man, I've seen them all in the sauna before. You sure got hella scars, huh? Bet they come with a ton of shady stories to tell. Not gonna deny it. That's just how it is when you're in this business. I'll bet. Especially when you've got connections with PMCs, the Society, Heiyue, and a bunch of other dicey groups. Sounds like you backed up the Mirage side during the war a couple years ago, too. Then your ex is an A-rank bracer, and you've got a partner in crime in the CID. A ton might even be selling it short. Keep it up with the wild guesses. Too sharp for his own good. So, you went to high school with those two, right? D <sighs> Give me a break here. Your intuition is something else, you brat. Doesn't need to be something else in this case. The small fry might not have noticed, but Miss Perfect sure has. You're just so easy to read. It's like you're not even trying to hide this stuff. Cutting right to the chase, huh? I mean, you're right. It's not like I'm going out of my way to hide it, but... You just never volunteer it either. 
Same difference. Almost bizarre how you hold your cards close to your chest while using your whole Spriggan deal to meddle in others' affairs. How you always dive head first to protect us from danger, whatever the cost to yourself. Like you aren't worth a damn. Putting it like that's a little... You try to disguise it. You get real pushy when it comes to Mira and make a show of boiling everything down to debts paid or owed. But it's all talk, isn't it? At least when it comes to us, you're all give and no take. And I hate how you're making me leave my debt to you forever unpaid. I get it, though. You're scared, aren't you? <laughs> we all owe you in some way or another. It's part of why I came all the way over to the capital to help out. Not a big part, though. Half for sightseeing, half for revenge, and like 1% repaying you. Oh, no doubt. But that's not true for the others. They're here because they're grateful to you. Well, they're grateful and they worry about leaving you alone because you're a danger to yourself. <laughs> We're closer than you think and not just in age. Maybe think about how liked you actually are next time you want to pull the sacrificial lone wolf act. Not that I care what happens to you, just to be clear. <laughs> oh, get out of here with that shit! <laughs> Couldn't help myself. Not often you're this sincere. Though if I've got a little hellion like you worried about me, then I got a long ways to go as a man. Just have to take it one day at a time. <laughs> Careful you don't overdo it, Grandpa. Anyway, enough serious talk. We're in a hot springs resort. You gotta tell me all the good night spots. Like where you can get down and dirty in the bath with some hot older girls. <laughs> Nowhere, that's where. Get down and dirty? <laughs> Goodness, I wonder what that could mean. He really can't help himself, can he? Whoa, everything's all white. Sorry for leaving her with you all this time, Reset. Not at all. We've had a lovely time together. <laughs> Leave the washing to me whenever you're ready. I want to help wash the boys, too. Can I? I suppose it might be fine if it's just you. <laughs> we'll have to get there and the owners okay later. <laughs> Splash! Hmm? Is something wrong? N not at all. I'm sorry. <laughs> we just couldn't help looking at you. Hmm? Oh, were you concerned with how my artificial body is faring? Oh, it's not that. Um, if anything, it's the opposite. I forgot it's artificial. <laughs> That's quite the compliment. I'm not going out of my way to hide anything, so you can look all you like if the sight doesn't displease you. You have to squint to notice anything different at all. Oh, I see it now. This is the joint between two of my artificial parts. All it takes is to wear something over it, and nary a person is likely to notice. Still, while I may sound like an expert, I've only had this body for a year. I see. Um... I'm sorry. I didn't mean to sound like I was holding knowledge over you. It's a rather complex story, and much of it is confidential. I wish I could tell you if I'm being truthful. No, you don't need to apologize. You've gone out of your way to do what you can for us in spite of your limitations. If anything, you've been doing more than you should. It makes me... Um, well... I can't help but compare myself to you and feel a little inadequate. You, um, yes? <laughs> you see, I have numerous skills and knowledge because I was intended to be that way. My skills have been refined and my body modified to best serve my purpose. However, the both of you also have roles that only you can fulfill. Roles that I suspect are much more important to Arkwright solutions than my own. You really think so? I don't know. That's kind of hard to imagine. Don't worry about it too much for now. 
Just try to take it to heart as wisdom from your elders. To add, while my body might differ from that of an ordinary human's, I am still 20 years old as I once told you all. I'm not an enchantress who is much older than she appears, or anything to that effect. <laughs> Understood. <laughs> Good to know, Reset. We're so close in age, and yet she's so much wiser than me. What's an enchantress? Oh, Yumei! Are you all talking about work? I want to help you all when I'm big, too! Grandpa said I couldn't, but I'm not gonna listen to him. I'm sure hearing that would make him a bit sad. I know I'd be happy to have you on the team, though. Oh, for sure! Sure is noisy over there. But I guess that's what happens when three quarters of the group are kids. They're just in what I call the Hot Springs Vacation Spirit. I think it's probably time we got out anyways. Oh, for sure. <laughs> oh, getting in the bath with everyone does seem like it would help me get to know them all better. But... I doubt they work out the truth that easily. But I couldn't be as comfortable as I can with Gran and the others back home. Still, it would be a waste just to have a shower, so maybe I'll sneak in later once everyone's done. Thanks! Yesterday's food was really good, so I can't wait for... Oh. Oh, right! You did say that you were here for a few days on vacation! Well, I'll just be going then. 